All right, testing audio, testing movement. Audio seemed good. Okay, good. Um, well, everyone, this is uh, Gundam Ace, aka John Hooper, and I'm here streaming the Sekimeya Spun Glass. Um, the Sekimeya is an original English language visual novel um, that recently came out, made by Trine. Um, sorry, by Trine the Tight Team. Um, it's it's based heavily on. Um, mystery heavy visual novels such as Remember Eleven and whatnot. And um I was a big fan of the Infinity series myself, as it was basically what got me really started into visual novels. I'm curious to see how this plays out, so um that's why I'm streaming it today. Um I don't know if I'm gonna be continually streaming this. It depends on how this stream goes and um my own personal schedule, but we'll see how this works out. But yeah, apart from what I just said, I don't really know too much about it, so let's dive right in. Alright, here we go. Oh, 2011. Very unsubtle reference there. <laughs> Hmm, so are we starting in media rest, judging from the the way it's raining out right now, since it's been a previous few days? Oh yeah? Time for what? Hmm, well that doesn't help me too much, but... Okay, so our name is our protagonist's name is Atsuki, unless this is just a temporary protagonist. Okay, so it's been two weeks, two weeks since this whole thing began, or well, I guess we'll we'll find out. I shouldn't be asking all these many questions yet. Um, okay, lower the game audio. Alright, hold on a second. Alright, uh, how's this sound now? Any better? Okay, alright, good. Well, um, we'll continue with that then. That bucket looks so out of place with the architecture and everything else. Okay, 15 years, so you've known each other quite a while. Ashia Tower. Okay, I'm guessing that's where we are. Almost 9 p.m. Okay. Town they lived in is Yushibana. Must be. So I guess Shiroya is probably Atsuki's childhood friend, judging from their ages. Well, I mean, from how they look, I kind of guessing from their appearances, they're late teens, early twenties, maybe even a little older than that. We'll see though.
85 and 87, well, they must have really great, um, how do I put it, skin care in this alternate reality. I don't know, sign me up for that. <laughs> Anyway, um... Sigma, huh? Oh, that was a bit of a weird transition from, um... What appears to be, like, original background drawings to... This, this seems like more like a photograph. I don't know, it could be wrong, but still. Okay, so it's called Ashia Tower because the family owned it was called the Ashias. Okay, and so they shady and they have power over the town. I'm guessing part of the stigma about the towers because it's probably way larger compared to you know, the other buildings here. If this is supposed to be a representation of how other buildings are generally sized in this town. Ah, okay, business and tourism. What kind of business and tourism, though? Hmm. Valuable gemstones, huh? Sounds like it has something to do with, um... Uh, something to do with probably the tower itself, I'm thinking. I don't know, it could be a magic stone, could be a sci-fi stone, I don't know. Or maybe it's just a stone and I'm looking into deeply of this. I see, okay, so yeah, typical young versus old sort of mindset because of this. Yeah, typical. Wait, you never entered it? I thought the young people didn't mind it. Maybe that 85, 87 age range joke wasn't as much of a joke as we thought. So I'm not sure what they meant by Shiro, you're feeling betrayal for it. It's because we walked in the front door. It's how hard is it to say that? Alright, joking aside, though. Okay, so they've... About the day's event for two weeks. I'm gonna showcase and make... Um, so they said they've been here for two weeks, but... So is this, like... Was this two weeks before the event question? That they've... So basically, is this the day of the event? They've been here for the last two weeks? Or have they... Is it two weeks after the event? Uh, I guess I'll find out a little more when I'm reading. Oh, so they weren't in here for um, the stone. I thought they'd been here for two weeks. No, uh, I might. Maybe I'm just mis misunderstanding something, or maybe they just went outside. Oh, okay. Um, so this seems to be the day of the event, and it doesn't look like they've been in a trap situation or anything like that yet. They've just they're just in line for the event. I wonder what they're here for, though, if not for curiosity of the stone. Oh. Okay, I thought for a second it might be our protagonist, Atsuki, but no. Some major character, I guess. Hold on, speaking of which... Okay, I was checking the... How this works. The... the I'm checking the GUI out for a sec. Settings... Oh, a mini-map. Hmm. 
I'll just put this on, see how that works out. Okay, everything else seems fine. Uh... Lost save slots. Yeah, I don't know if this game is... How this game works, if there's any choices or anything like that, but... Yes, I've heard the same as well. Notes. Oh, okay, we've got a little tutorial here. Doesn't, oh, okay, so I won't see more until in the chapter. Yeah, I, th I thought that might be kind of the case. Um, there's a there's another um, indie visual novel out there called De Gracia, which also has a mini map system that also doesn't show up until a little bit into the prologue. Anyway. Okay, so get an overview of past tense, title of the scene, with who, and the overview. Okay? Alright, so we got a view of it right there. Hmm. So all important... It's all important events we log the moment we reach them. Hmm, but what, if, what about the non-important events? How do we determine what's important, what's non-important? What if I'm going to be deceived and just forget about the non-important events because I relied too much on the notes? Or maybe I'm just thinking way too much about this before it begins. Oh, show- I can add new sections? How does that work? Ah, interesting, interesting. That's a very cool system. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm liking this. It's a good way to keep things in... Good things in system. The only... Um... What was I gonna say? Um... A, a, the closest thing I can think of that's kind of like was, um... Um, in some Zeroscape games you could take notes, but... They're, it's only for a single screen, and they fade over time. Which is a nice way to represent how you forget things over time, but it wasn't very handy anyway. So this, this, this is a lot more handy. At least that's how it looks. Okay, prioritize the, the overview of the notes sections. Alright. Hmm. Okay, go search. Hmm, copy all. I'm not really sure how that works for now. And all these copy stuff, I think I'll have to actually use the system a bit for, um, until I, um, to get, to figure out how it really works. Title of an entry to collapse it. Okay. Collapse entries contain less information. I see. Okay, so I can mark the ones that I think are more important. Okay, got it. I'm just gonna do a little test here. Okay. Okay, seems pretty good. But I can't. Of course, it just began, so I can't really. Hmm. Okay, so search. All right, let's see. Okay, so yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, no, it's very, it seems very handy for that kind of stuff. Uh, oh wait, let's see if there's anything else on the... Probably I can't access the map. Yep, didn't think so. Alright, I'll just save for now then.
just since I'm here. Anyway, let's continue the story. Okay, so Shoya and Atsuki are in line. And we have this guy here. Why does this face kind of remind me of Wazze? <laughs> Seem a bit distant. Okay. They can only go in two groups of three to see the gemstone, huh? Hmm. Seems a bit weird, but... Maybe it's just, I don't know, that's just how it works, I guess. The entrance fee. Yes, the return of Wata Sexy. He he was too sexy to be kept in one game alone, so he has come over here in order to spread his um I don't know. I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just gonna abort the joke before I blow myself up with it. Anyway. Okay, so why do you want to go see it if it's not for curiosity? All right, um, sorry about that. Um, nine o'clock. Okay, I'm assuming it's 9 a.m. Obviously, it would be weird if it was at nine at night. Okay, so both doors lead to the main floor of the tower. Wonder why there's the need for two. I guess maybe just for entrance purposes. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything more to it? I mean, obviously, there's got to be something more to this gemstone. But um. I was gonna say, if, if there was something that's attracted as many people, it seems like the kind of thing that would have been made public. So, like, if he if he's wondering what the big deal is, I guess, I was just simply not interested in that aspect at all, or they had something that has not been publicized. Or maybe I'm just thinking too much into this again. I feel like it's gonna be a common theme of this stream. Okay. Okay, well... Phone's not allowed in the building? Okay, it's 2011, but... And s smartphones weren't really a thing back then, but... I guess it's not as big a deal back then. Wonder why they need to... Leave phones out. And no clocks either. Hmm, why do I feel like that's gonna be important? That doesn't. That did not look like a smile to me, even if it's a barely visible version. Hmm. So, so Atsuki and Shiroi are some sort of in some sort of mental crisis, it seems. Or some, maybe that has something to do with the stone. And why they need to see it if they're not curious. And the way things were before. How far back are we talking? Oh, so maybe that's why they have two doors. One for... Oh. Hello, new character? Okay. All right. Name is Naomi. Hello. All right. 
three groups are allowed to take 15 minutes. That's a pretty long time. Just look at a single gemstone. Unless there's like, unless they're allowed to go in like some rooms leading before that. It sounds very inefficient if as many people have come as they have said. Okay. Oh, so there's a bit of a Q&A involved too. I guess that might be why for 15 minutes. Well, that's not helpful. Ah, uh, 2011. Back when video cameras were still actually a thing. And it didn't just say, keep your phones are strictly prohibited. All right. Okay, so Sekimea is the name of the stone. Although, obviously, we're not actually the first one to see Sekimea, obviously, or... <laughs> there, I couldn't have gone here to begin with. If I know what she means, I'm just being... ...sarcastic. Yes, the title of the game would indeed be important. Hmm. So is he here for another purpose as well, or just curiosity? Anyway. Huh? Have they gone ahead? Hmm. Yeah, definitely something up here. You sure don't look it. Hmm. Fade out previous lines, I'm... Oh, uh, color speaker text. Yes, I noticed that. I didn't know... I'm not sure you mean by, um, fading out previous lines. I didn't notice the colored speaker text, though. I'm fine, though, because I, I understand what's going. Oh, hey, an actual smile. Yes, you look like absolute shit. I don't know if he actually said that. Oh, um... I see what you're saying. Nah... Nah, I'm good with this. I'll keep it like this for now. Yes, no, you're not being convincing at all. Even though this is the first time you've smiled. Hmm. Did someone she know was involved with stone and died, maybe? That's all I can really think of right now. Related to a... Maybe, yeah, I don't know, yet. All right. Well, hell, I don't know that. You don't have any clocks here. How was I supposed to know the clock was ticking? It's just an exp Ugh, whatever. Anyway. Cabinets covered by red cloths. Hmm, not sure how that visualized that. Ah, that's what they mean. That's... Oh, I guess this... For show, maybe? The Sekime is behind that cloth? Or a curtain. So he's not even looking at it, just looking at the wall. Alright.
Atsuki Hakutoki. Okay. Shiroya Mirana. Okay, hi, Akaro. Akaro is Sata. Alright. Yes, you certainly do look happy. These people have a problem expressing emotions, don't they? Well, I mean, you guys apparently aren't, so... Hm? Wait, oh, okay, there we go. All right. Oh yeah, how so? Okay, so the stone Sekimea was discovered two weeks ago. Yeah, it does kind of feel like they're sizing each other up. Well, at least those who don't know each other. Well... Oh, so they're allowed to touch it? That's... That's not usually a thing you see in most museums, to say the least. Okay, okay, he's up. Yeah, that's all I'm thinking for now. It's like... Hand scent? Come on! This this game was made before- Well, okay, no, not- This was made- This is probably written before COVID, so let's give him a break on the hand sanitizer thing. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. That's not good. Smoke rose and... S Smoke or, like, sleeping gas? Oh, boy. Oh, yes, true. 2011. Happening again. Have you been on fire before or something? Oh boy. Yeah. I'm... Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing this is some sort of sleeping gas or. Sleeping gas sign, because, you know, normal smoke would just. Mi would, I mean, it would. It would just really make you cough for a bit, it wouldn't drain your strength immediately. So there's no lights down the hallway, so like the whole hallway is dark. <laughs> yes. Perfect mask advertisement. Okay. Whoa. That kind of sun bit of a strong curse word to start out with your first curse word of the game. Although it does fit the situation. Anyway, so both doors were closed under the room to the ventilation. Maybe I was no, it couldn't be like in the cabinet or anything like that. That hole in the floor is just a, it's just a past thing. Or are you talking about right now?
And you know that you're not gonna die, so... You ha seems like he has experience with this. But he says, like, the thought of dying there, but... Oh! Rougher and fainter sounds? Maybe some sort of criminal activity? I mean, if it's that rare of a stone, people would be lining up to probably steal it. Especially if it's valuable. Oh. Well. Huh. Okay, that was a short VN. A bit, um, a bit of a sudden ending, but, um... That's just, uh, how it goes. Oh, yeah. The cre nice credits. Chapter 1 for the Malin. Cuts the credits. Oh, well. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. And that was the Sekimea story. The moral of the story is clearly... Don't go to museums, and... Oh, we're still going. Never mind. Ah. Such verbose dialogue. Or mental thoughts. Okay. Constant pain pounded on the interior skull. Oh yeah, well... Whatever sleeping gas, whatever it was. The question would be, though, is why they would be put to sleep if that's what this was. And why them specifically? Okay. Okay, so Shiro is still here. I know it's because he's a total stranger and the whole bunch of funny the kind of way of saying, yeah, fuck that guy, I don't care about him. Akatsuki sure does seem to have a bit of a, um... Not sure depends is the right word, but a very, um... I guess, sure, his mental state is very important to his, his own being, it sounds like to me, from what I've seen so far. No, I am not, <coughs> but uh, thanks for asking. Hmm. Well, no phones and no clocks, so we have no idea when this... Well, the door's open at 9, we know that much for sure, but no way of knowing, I guess. And yeah, Shoya appears to have some idea about the smoke as well. I mean, just inhaled a bunch of smoke, so I'm feeling positively dandy, thank you very much. Or yes, yeah. I okay, afraid of the worst. Yeah, so this just leads further to this is some sort of experience they've been through before. Oh, and oh, it just said one there, but that time we've woken up safely. Hmm. Interesting smoke. Well, smoke rises, so that makes sense. Oh no, we barely even knew her. Here she woke up, got out, or she was in on this, I guess. Or someone killed her and moved her somewhere. I mean, it's probably definitely some, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's some sort of deliberate attack or something like that, so... Obviously, I don't really have enough context to make any more guesses.
Yes, very sus indeed. It does seem weird though that she would leave the room instead of, especially being someone who works here, not trying to help the um, trying to help the guests out in any way, or unless she tried and it didn't work out, and she tried to leave to get some help or vent out the room even. Still though. It's suspicious that she is not around. And I'm just gonna lie here all day. As opposed to feeling his face with his foot. Oh, nice touch. I like that. Um, I like the, the dark touch that you can see a bit of the smoke on his body and his clothes. Oh, yes, he is Takashi now. His hand is now glued to his head. Yes. You have no idea? Well, that's totally not true, but he seems to be keeping that to himself. Hmm, so he fell asleep faster. I guess that could be because if, um, um, he has been through this before, then he might have a bit of resistance to whatever knocked him out. Oh, she didn't hear it either, even though she... And they heard the other sound, too. Happened. Oh, so the hallway had smoke in it, too. Hmm. It's, it's weird for sure, because, um... I mean... If the purpose was to knock people out, uh, there's only three people allowed at a time, so everyone else should have still been at the entrance halls. And that was uh, this was in between, so why was there smoke in the hall there too? Yeah, understandable. No. I mean, yeah. So the origin was in the room, most likely. Well, that might have to do with the other sound you heard. That does sound pretty likely. I did think that might have been part of a thief attempt. But... You don't know for sure, you should still check just to be safe. Although, in this situation, it probably wouldn't do any good to really check it out. I mean, that'll just, you know, cause a lot more trouble. Smoke wasn't released in the other halls, rooms in the hallway. Hmm. Yeah. Very good questions. Unfortunately, we don't really have much context to go off at this point in time. So, I can't really say. You got a personal stake in this. Huh? How's that work? Really gotta wonder what his connection is to the... Sekimeya... Right.
Maybe the Ajo, they're not going to show us that backstory. We're going to find out in some sort of obscure guidebook that'll be released in a few years from now in order to piece it together for ourselves. That's how these mystery games work. Anyway, so, I mean, there could have been something under the, some sort of device under the center of the room. Well, that didn't help. Hmm, he seems to be still pretty... Um, he seems to be holding himself up better than them, but he does look older. Happens here too. Oh. Oh, so you're thinking it's dark because of the smoke. I thought that might even the lights were out. Good question. I don't know. Hmm. So all so the two hallways and the room itself were attacked alongside. I guess the I guess the hallways thing could have been done or the knock out someone who was true might have been able to open the door before the smoke got into the room, but again, why do they need to do that? And of course the question is, um, if it was an attempt to steal a Sekimea, I'm sure there would have been a better time timing to do this. They um waiting for these four people specifically to go into the room seems a bit suspicious. They could have found some way. They might. Be, they should have been able to find a way to do it if no one, when no one was in the room. I'm thinking. Yeah, no. I think it's got to be more complicated than that. Mm, I don't. Again, I think if she was a staff member. There would have been much better opportunities. I mean, um, she, there were much better opportunities for her to steal the gem if she wanted. Yeah, Sakaro is pretty mysterious, but then again, we don't really know anything about anyone right now. Hmm. And he just stays there and waits. And then what about Naomi? Hmm. Unless the mechanism or whatever, the smoke was timed to the opening of the cabinet. Hmm. Okay, so, um, Atsuki and Shiroi are 19 years old. Got it. So they are not old people. Just not explain their di which means they have no explanation for their distaste of the, uh, built tower yet. This guy sure is going into fall on detective mode pretty quickly after this whole thing started. I think I'd take me a few minutes of getting out of the room and recovering first before I tried that sort of thing. <laughs> yes, this whole thing is a risky idea. Yes, you are getting pretty far away. Yes, indeed. We have no context for anything. You can make theories, but we have no information to really go off of. A security camera, eh? Well, no, I'm guessing... Yes, this all happens in the span of one second. He thinks super fast. Anyway, I doubt the security camera is going to be of much help. Knowing if how this attack works, I'm guessing that... 
either the smoke would have blocked out any footage or they um, would have um, tampered the secure would tamper the footage or they could have just shut it off ahead of time. Either way, I don't think it's gonna be much help. Oh, I see. That's where he's going with this. Hmm. I guess that works too. Yes, yeah, so detective mode is your coping mechanism. Interesting, but people grieve in different ways. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing the smaller text means it's a fainter voice. Okay, feminine voice. I doubt this is going to be Naomi. And they didn't recognize her voice anyhow. No, Aix. This is a... This, yes, Aix. This, this is a world where it turns out certain individuals have the power to slow time and think as long as they ever need to. It's the, um... It's the shonen, it's the, it's the comic book trope of where people can have long conversations on a single panel, even though it must take like 10 seconds in reality. You could have just checked, I mean, couldn't have hurt to check. Hmm. The smoke was pretty powerful, it, but at the same time, there doesn't seem to be any fire damp. Yes, this is Namek. And the reason it's all black is because someone summoned the dragon. I don't know. Okay, so the smoke was intended to make things dark. And there was some sort of effect. Chemical probably added to it. Oh, I'm guessing one is Akara and one is someone else. Oh, hey, old security guard guy. So there's two more people kneeling down beside from them. Okay, one is Isla. Yes, the second May is actually a Dragon Ball. This is all a elaborate Dragon Ball Z fanfic all along. Oh, we got more people. Man, a woman and a child, it seems. So not able to evacuate, yeah. Yeah, we don't know what happened with that. So they haven't seen her either, so... Guessing they were knocked out too. I guess that leaves the question of why Naomi didn't. Was it, yeah, I guess yeah. So too many questions about why Naomi's absence. Well, she could have gone to a different floor. That too. Right, and here we go with the we can't leave part. Yeah, why, you know, why can't they leave, is the big question. You saw the smoke after you heard the alarm. It depends on where he was, but that's funny because the smoke went off before the alarm. 
from our perspectives. Okay, so yeah, they addressed that. Okay, so the... Yeah, I was thinking it's a, a lockdown could be a possibility, too. Um, and anyway, there's another group of three, at least, which is an interesting possibility of maybe another three-person group, or... Well, I thought they were only allowed to just go one at a time, even with the two doors. Unless they were... Oh, okay, maybe they weren't here for the event. I remember that one... They said at the start that, um... People who weren't here for the event could just go through the left door. Yes, you're right. This, this game just became a lot more real. But yeah, anyway, these people could have just been here to... Just been here for a regular visit. Not related to Sekimea. So they picked a pretty bad day for it. Okay, so you're responsible for the security systems. Okay, so you're in the security room in the opposite hallway. Right. That makes sense. That adds up. So only this one's able to pop. What are the other floors then? Business stuff, maybe? Oh, okay, so they did send our group in. Ah, okay, that explains that then. I mean, he said he was in the security room. Yeah. Did you play back the footage at all, somehow? It sounds like you're just talking about, um... Lamb real time, but I guess in the end... Like, well, you know, probably didn't notice the moment... The, if he's innocent, he probably wouldn't have noticed the moment the smoke first started. And only no... He said he only knows after he heard the alarm. So he probably... If he was... If he's innocent, then... He probably didn't see anything on the cameras about his release. Especially if whatever hat causes was done remotely. That is true. Um, I mean, I guess there are rooms could have gone through, but um, it does seem weird that um, a security guard, especially, my thought is a security guard's first instinct would probably be to head to the Seki Maya room, make sure that the uh, well, okay, no, his first his first um, response should be to check that. People were okay, but he also should have been checking on the Sekimea to make sure it hadn't been stolen, since that's the big thing here right now. I guess it depends on this, the order of events, though. I, anyway, what I'm trying to say is um, it depends on the layout of the building, but... Um, I feel like he, he probably should have at least run into us before we woke up. Judging from that. Yeah, that figures. I, was, I assumed as much. Okay, so it means pass footage too, I assume. Okay, so that wasn't a typical emergency alarm. Well, it was special smoke, so it didn't seem like it was a fire or anything. Alright, so there's a lockdown. The alarm keeps it locked down. And now we will have to wait until the radiation levels decrease and- Oh, wait, wrong VN.
Very good questions. 12 hours. That's three hours too long. Yes, yeah, so we all know what kind of gem it is. All right, yeah, typical. Can't explain why the lockdown is for that long and why they can't contact the outside. Oh, okay, never mind. Um, of course, knowing how these games work, I highly doubt it's going to work out. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's definitely some sort of past trauma at play here. I mean, we already kind of knew that, but it seems like it has been a, a, a very similar situation. Oh, yeah, can we get some introductions? Yeah, it does seem weird that they... I mean... I guess maybe they were hit with the smoke, but they, um... Okay, yeah, well, the culprit is... Well, we don't really know what the culprit's goals are, so we can't tell if they're outside or not, but going by these the tropes, the culprit is likely one of us. Well, there wasn't anyone else in the hallways, right? They're in the lobby, so... There might be related to that other noise we heard. Yes, the culprit is among us, and no, no obvious jokes. Oh, yeah? Oh. Holy Greek symbols. Okay, yep, so sleeping properties. Okay, yeah, no, that seems unlikely. So what triggered the alarm? I mean, like, what... Tate Kuiji. Seems like a really random time to introduce you. Now you introduce themselves. I'll try to figure out what happened. Oh, by the way, here's my name. All right. All right, Isla and Irina. So, not Japanese, then. I mean, Isla probably... Um, Isla's not Jap... Well, to be fair, none of these names are actual, real Japanese names, but whatever. Well, most of them. Shiroya. Ha! Ah, Shiroya, white hair. I see what you did there. Okay... Okay, so she's nine. There, we got the we got your nine. There, we satisfied the zero escape and root double fans with that. Sigh. Yes. I didn't want to bring it up, but it's spelled P S I.
I have to deal with Sai all over again. Ugh. And here I thought it was over. Yeah, who- wait, hold on a second. Who's a Psy guy? I, um, uh, oh. I- I don't see him anywhere. They say he's separated from us, but they haven't shown him yet, from what I can tell. Right. Wait, then who's Shiroya? I'll just, I'll just keep playing. I'm a little confused by who Shiroya and Sai are supposed to be. Yes, he's off screen the whole VN. That makes sense. does seem likely it was related somehow, but I don't know if it was just a simple theft. Again, there must have been- there probably would have been much easier ways to do it. The question is why I'd lock them in the building. Right, because it- because of the lockdown, they couldn't have gotten the Sekimea out in time, unless they had some sort of trick. Yeah, so why is this personal to you? Again, it's like- Seems like they're somehow directly in Shiroya or somehow directly related to the Sekimea. Oh, this looks like Isla's waking up. There we go. It only appears in CGs. <laughs> Do you have something to do with them, or is he just like... I wonder if he's just... Is he related to them, or is he just the guy who happened to be with them on the trip? Nah, yeah, no, it didn't work out. Okay, so they... Yeah. Also, speaking of CGs, we better get one of Atsuki soon. I'm gonna spend the whole VN doubting his identity. Oh, right, right, she wrote, yeah. Stupid me, stupid me. I'm, um, I, I don't know why I blanked. That's right, Shiroya is, is the girl, is the chocolate friend. I don't know why I, yeah, I, I had a huge brain fart there. Should have saved Shiroya for the white haired guy instead. Spelled Aoya. Yes, Aoya, that's correct. Could have just given us that instead of going for the whole tw 10 minute explanation, but that works too. <laughs> yeah, probably not the set, probably not the best thing to tell a kid who just woke up. Huh. Well, you seem to be taking this pretty well. I mean, most kids would be freaking out from this. Yes, yes, it could have. Don't know if I should find that suspicious or not, or. I 
Okay, first floor is the crystal floor. Reference to all the gems. Hey, hey, don't we'll be the judge if they're uninteresting or not. Well, uh, that's that's definitely not suspicious. Hey. Our lockdown also breaks off all communications. I mean, it's like it's not, I mean, that's definitely suspicious. It's not like Redouble where it made sense because they were underground and the radiation interfered with all that kind of stuff, but wonder why the alarm specifically shuts down communication methods. Yes, we are going to find out that Atsuki has a cubicle and paper fetish. That's All right, so what was this method you were talking about? Yeah. A function that what, like a radio or something? No, can't use the internet to read the plot in advance. Yeah, that's weird why they would go all the way out to... Yeah, exactly. Why would they ignore one method when they would go out of their way to shut down all the other methods? Oh. Ha 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 ha. I see what you did with his shirt there. Well, got to deal. Well, this had to happen. Got to check out the entrance. Hmm. Yeah. Got to figure out how this is personal to him and them. It's not like I'm some detective. Says the guy who immediately um, delved into a couple, couple paragraphs of detective um, work the second he woke up. Okay, we'll see how that holds up. Right. By the way, in case um, people are wondering why I haven't really... I've been saying a lot of theories, but I haven't rang them down on the notes and whatnot. The reason for that is because I'm trying to do as much story as I can in the um, in the actual like streams. I figure I could I, that would cut into the stream time, so I would um, write the notes off screen after the stream or something like that. Okay. But, yeah, no, I'm doubting... If, if they went over all the trouble of blocking out the cameras, I highly doubt they would have done something that would have gotten themselves on camera. Mm-hmm. All right. There's the bucket. Here's our main culprit. Speaking of the notes, I'm just going to check to see what they look like right now. 
Okay. All right. Just checking out what looks now. Okay, so the lights are off, but not much smoke. Okay, yep, metal shutter. And yeah, of course, there's the question why a lockdown for this specific kind of thing? And of course, the lockdown seems pretty pointless if, um, how I put it, a lot of the people could evacuate ahead of time. Seems to allow all the civilians to get out. No, you think? Oh, there's her sprite. Looks a little different than the CG. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to know what. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yep, not gonna be telling us. Probably to avoid something from escape from escaping, maybe? Or just peel from who stole the Sekimea from leaving. I guess that could be the alarm thing. If people were trying to steal the gems, they wouldn't have enough time to make it to an exit. But that seems too simple. Indeed. Naturally. Oh right, yeah, the R one the one the one they didn't go through. Yeah, that makes sense. You opened it, but you didn't open it the whole way? Or it's- oh, wait, we're talking- uh, Hmm. Yeah? Well, I've assumed the windows, the front door, ventilation shafts. I see, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely strange if it, was, if, it were, if it were for a theft because, you know, it prevents the whole thing. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah? Aren't they sealed as well? That was definitely why that was definitely something I considered if um, you know, like it seems weird that the um and someone should have specifically waiting for people to enter the room with the second mayo would be the worst possible scenario if you were trying to steal it with gas since there was smoke since there should have been many other ways to do it. That's true. Right. 
Yeah, that's true. Right. Yeah, what's your idea? Really? The lobby doesn't have security cameras. Seems like a pretty big design flaw. <laughs> Making up complicated theories is a habit of mine. It's almost like you're a VN protagonist. Yes, they'll never catch the people who are trying to steal the chairs and the cat. No, more importantly than that, who cares about the chairs and the couch? They need to. They need to. They they need the cameras in order to protect Bucket. Who's going to protect him without the cameras? But anyway, they somehow think that the. No, there's something of value. The bucket. The bucket is. It's a bucket. Don't question it. Right? I don't know, still seems like a pretty stupid decision for not having cameras in the lobby. <laughs> That's playing it lightly. So that would, I, well, I mean, can you really guarantee you searched everyone who got out? Presum I mean, if it was chaos, which presumably there would, I don't think was, they could call out enough people there to make sure no, not every single person has got the slip. All right. I mean, that's... Okay, so there's no security footage for your... Basically, your electricity room. I mean, that's... Ah, yeah, I was about to wonder about that. Okay, so no one can enter the door. I'm oh, sorry, yeah, in the reception. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we can't disable the alarm to get off, and we can't turn off the security systems. Yep. Okay, so she has a gem pen, and that adds uh, the idea of there being a more personal connection to the Sekimea. Oh, I'm guess so. It must have been a gift from Atsuki since she since he knew what it was and she didn't know what it was. So, the thing has got to be. I mean, I guess it could be fake, but it still seems like. They have some connection to gems, so... I think it's real. I mean... I 
I mean, you can check. I mean, not as it's not really easy. I mean, I guess it's safe enough to check if the whole building's locked down. Not like you're going to escape with it, and no real purpose to um. Basically, might as well check. No real reason not to. I mean, obviously someone could have stolen the time we were away. I'm gonna guess it's not there, but the question is the time timing or if it disappeared or not. Oh, music's getting a bit trippy. Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, let's see. Hmm, so there's dust on the curtain. That's interesting. So the curtain, um, must have been in there for a while. Or oh, unless that's part from the smoke. But either way, that would seem to indicate that. Let's see. And huh. Yeah, music has been pretty solid. Anyway, with the dust on the cur the current, that means whether Seki May has been here or not. Whoever's in here must have been here where must have been here for a while. Okay, so it is the Seki May. Yeah, it could be a fake. Assuming we can trust his words, that is. I mean, being a security guard, he's in the perfect position to help any would-be culprits. Well, I'm guessing there's... It's not the appearance that's its main... allure. I wonder what... There's gotta be something more to it. You say you came out of curiosity despite not looking very curious, though. Huh? Mm-hmm. So yeah, the culprit apparently did not take the Sekimea. So what was the whole smoke for? I mean, I guess, but it seems like that there would... Um... I don't know, it just seems like it wouldn't be that easy to steal it. Yeah. If they were to steal it, I mean, unless they plan to kill everyone else, um, it's going to be pretty obvious who, unless, what was I going to say, um, if someone wanted to steal and walk out with them when the lockdown ended, um, they could kill all of us and walk out pretending to be a sole survivor, but... When the Seki Mea was disappeared, that seems like they would be the the prime suspect. And um Unless they thought that maybe they someone was I mean they couldn't sorry, what I'm trying to say is maybe someone in the lobby they would think to taking it possibly too, but either way, this doesn't really end in a clear way because if the if the culprit did try to steal the Seki Mea and doesn't kill anyone, then all these people can testify that the Seki Mea was still in its Casing during the lockdown, so that wouldn't help the culprit out. Hmm. She, I assume she was. Oh, she should not have been. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I have a feeling we're going to find her dead somewhere. That's pretty good for you to be counting the seconds when you're falling unconscious from smoke. I 
I mean, I guess. It seems a bit simple. I mean, I guess the possibility is she did steal the stone when she realized she couldn't escape. She put it back in to avoid th suspicion or something. Hmm. Her sus I don't know about that, but her um, disappearance is definitely suspicious. No, I don't think... No, the second man must have been in there the whole time because the... Because the curtain was dirt, was dusty. Dust would have been knocked off if we... if they'd taken it. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, no, that's true. It seemed weird for someone who was hired specifically to explain to Sekimea and run the exhibition. Wouldn't know about that. Yeah, too suspicious. Again, very powerful perception when you're falling unconscious. So yeah, this, it seems like the implication is that the alarm is not related to the smoke at all in any way, and something else triggered it. Yeah. Okay, yep, so, um, Asuki knows what I noticed. Right. Yeah, no, I don't think that makes sense. Hmm. I don't think the second bay was ever taken, it seems like, from the, just from the curtain. Seems like the smoke was here, knock us out somehow. Maybe it's related to something else in the building. I don't know, maybe there's... Could be something in those upper offices for all we know. We don't really know what they're doing up there in those offices. Although, of course, the gemstones be the most price, uh, valuable stuff, apparently. Also, some c but good corporate information in those computers or something. Anyway, so they can open it. They really want to, um, be putting their hands all over it. I mean, they'll have their fingerprints all over the thing and might raise some questions from the outside world. Well, yeah, it's a gemstone. It'd be weird if it was warm. Oh, huh. So the Sekimea needs to be in the cold environment. Because if it's warm, will something happen to it? And how would they know that it needs to be in the cold environment to keep whatever's important there? Maybe preserve some sort of substance in there? Or if it heats up, some sort of reaction? Actually, could be. That's a good point. Yeah, it could be an egg. 
In that case, it wouldn't want to not incubate it or something. Although, the question is, um, if it is an egg, why would they be showing off an exhibit? I guess, if they didn't want whatever is in it to hatch, if they're trying to keep it cold. Mm hmm I'd rather not. Yeah. I mean, you don't know what it does. He could trigger something in it. Yeah, no, he would definitely get in a lot of trouble. He has to take responsibility for pretty much anything that happens in here from now on, considering he's the only staff member that we have in our group. The last dodo egg, yes. The second Mayo was all about dodos. Well, what'd you feel? Oh, smooth. Huh. Maybe it is some kind of egg then. Although, then again, that seems weird that. Why would they leave this thing on on public exp exhibition if people could figure out just from touching it or looking at it that it's some kind of egg? Hmm. Oh, really? Well, okay. Silky, eh? Yeah, no, definitely. Hmm. So only Isla had any real interest in it. That's interesting. Second, okay, yeah, so I'm curious how ventilation this works and what if we can't do something with that because obviously, it must have been the vet smoke must have gotten vented out, and like, are the eggs are the vents? Not connected to the outside. Have to connect the outside somehow. So are those blocked off somehow? I mean, Isla's a child, so she'd probably be able to fit through there if no one else. So that could be a possible way out. Right. Indeed. Yeah, no, contacting the outside is more important first. Yeah, that's generally how it works. So it's another gem room. Yeah, no. I wonder if we should take them all off just to make sure that um, nothing's been stolen from them. Although, because we don't know about the dust situation on that. Anyway, we're going, going to the security room. Yep. 
pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you gotta have it. Oh, it's locked? Even after you... Oh, okay. Funny how... Hmm. You didn't remember locking it? I mean, I know lots happen, but... I think generally you would have a... Keep that in mind, but... I mean, no, I, I get that it's probably protocol, and it's probably weird that he would not remember that the door was locked. It, and especially if it was protocol, he would... Uh, he would probably know immediately that he would have to unlock it, if he has to lock it every time he leaves. Right, right, makes sense. So you lock the room, and essentially, in order to keep anyone else, essentially the culprit, from communicating with the outside. Oh, there's some rap. Oh, here we. Okay, here we go. Now we got the mini map. Okay, so. All right, this gives me a good, better fit, um, idea of where things are located. So there's a staff room and a clean room near the events room, and everything else seems to just be the um, in the storeroom in the upper left and the security room. But apart from that, all just museum showcases rooms. Okay, middle click. Ah, so I can click this in order to... Good, I can click that to just get the full view. Hmm, wonder if the elevators and stairs are even... Um... They're not blocked. I'm gonna they're blocked off in a normal way. Right, okay, so the event room's the only thing that connects A and B. That makes things weird there since unless um Kate went all the way around from top to bottom like um clockwise or counterclockwise, you should have had to pass through the event room in order to get from one hallway to the other. In which case he should have seen us. So that's Oh, but again, that's nothing to fan there since there exists an alternative route. Okay. So C wasn't hit by smoke. Hmm, okay, so... It's weird that I didn't go in the, leak in the C, because C isn't really much of a... isn't so much of the hallway as it is a... You know, a link between A and B. I mean, I guess it still counts as its own hallway, but still. It's weird that the smoke didn't get there, especially since there doesn't appear to be anything blocking it. Hmm. Okay, so no one showed up. Yeah, pretty simple. Although, judging from the the way the map looks, we'll be exploring more floors later. Alright, and what do we have in here? Alright. Pretty basic. Kind of weird how there's nothing on the shelves at all, but I don't know. I'm not sure this is really the sort of situation for. Then again, we're not. I mean, we're not really supposed to be playing detective here, and this isn't like Root Double where we're where we were a rescue squad that needed to save people. We don't really have 
in theory, our guys have no reason to have have any authority or reason to look at the camera footage. And all, I mean, frankly, it's time to see the thing that should lead to the police and all that. But of course, I know it's not how it's going to play out. Alright. 9.41, it's only been 41 minutes? That... Huh. Seemed pretty... Like a lot happened in 41 minutes. And it's probably a little less than that, considering 9 was when the doors opened. Probably took them a at least a minute or two to get to the event room. Hmm. Anyway, so we won't open until... Um... 9.05. Okay, so 9.05 is when the... Must be when the um, smoke went off. And the alarm went off. So it took 5 minutes. So 36 minutes. Everything happened in the span of 36 minutes. Yeah. not Must not have been long. Or I thought a few hours or something. It also means that, in theory... Um... We must have been around here talking for... I don't know how the in-game time will work for it, but let's assume at least 10 minutes. That means there's probably been at least a... It's anywhere from a 10 to 20 minute window from when we woke up, I think. That means Naomi couldn't have gone... Naomi couldn't have gone far, I think. Okay, oh, there's the estimate. Okay, so five minutes... Wait for more than 20 minutes. Okay, so the time was... So we woke up at approximately 9.20. Let's just see if that's in the notes or not. If not, I'll just write that in. Okay, so I can do that. All right, there we go. Right, okay, so... Naomi must have... Naomi must have gone up the stairs or something then, or hid in a room, because she could have gone far in that time. I mean, unless she, the, unless she used the elevator to go all the way up to the top. Don't know how many floors this place has, after all. Right. Didn't find it appropriate to contact the outside. Hmm. I don't know. I think it. The, my. I think you. Wouldn't call the outside for further instructions first. That seems a little suspicious. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Oh. Oh, so it's a special internet. Line. <laughs> okay. All right, what did we get? All right, a car. Is it? Are we connecting directly to the Ashia family in the car or something? Hmm. A lot of people in the car. Big car. Hmm.
Okay, there we go. Took a little while. Oh, it's a police officer. Oh, okay, so the car... All the voices probably from the outside of the car then because... Of that. So the communication calls a police officer. Hmm, I thought it went to the Ashia family. Hmm. I mean, it could be worse. It's just, for all they know, they just have to stay in here for 11 hours. It's not, it's not pleasant, but, um, I mean, it doesn't seem to be any immediate danger. Not like a flooding or fires or dying of hypothermia or anything like that. Yeah, it could be something transferable, but it's funny we got a cop. Oh, okay, there we go. So the Alshia family gave them the device in case it was activating. Seripo. Okay, so they only have audio. Hmm. Right. Bedroom. Ah, oh, okay, so the they live in the tower first. Oh, okay, then the workforce got added. Alright, so might have been a lot smaller before the decade ago. Wonder what happened a decade ago then to change it. Ah, oh, okay, so yeah. Wasn't a tower at first, it was just just because of the way the building was being um, built up. How is the living area kept as the highest floor if they built up the floors? Maybe, maybe, just look, maybe I'm just not understanding it. Maybe they just moved all the furniture up. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Okay, so only a few cameras were installed on the upper floors. On the living floor. Hmm. Okay, so the bathrooms, the lobby and staff only in the attic. So Naomi must be in one of those. I wouldn't expect it to, no. Okay, her name is Naomi Kapka. I don't think we have her last name. Alright. Majutsu, okay. Sayomiya. Funny that we pause to say his last name. It'd be a fake for all we know. But yeah, it confirms that I didn't think. I didn't think so at all because of how it played out, but yeah, it confirms that Sai is not, um, is not related to Erina and Isla. Hmm. 
Right, makes sense. Huh. Okay, so it's forcing over the Sekimea cabinet, but at the same time, there was the sub. The substance in the dust was still on. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. It's possible you could be getting lied to. I mean, Kate knows how it works. I assume. He's, he says he can't tell what the alarm is for, so he must know what its true purpose is. Oops. Alright. Oh, so there has been something stolen. Huh. So, there was something stolen, but it was just... A few gems on... Well, they might have some sort of value. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, okay, so they they did apparently combine everyone who evacuated. Alright, so... Hmm... Yeah, it does seem weird that they would just steal a few seemingly pointless gemstones. Yeah. What? Yeah. Definitely a weird way to go about it, for sure. We already know how long they... they oh, well, right, they're hoping they can get him out of there, but... Past incidents? Okay. Okay, so they... They've also been attempted robbery in the past by a group called... Hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, Jin. Probably wrong, but... Monthly newspaper. Well, I guess it was a small town. I mean, it's... Okay, so... Okay, so Jin is a... is a robbery group. And they... Because the Ashias became famous... Um, become wealthy and famous, they try to steal their stuff. But yeah, a few gem gemstones that could have been gone anywhere else seems like an odd thing to steal. Hmm. Small group of people. And they've never been caught. I'm guessing one of them is among us. Alright, two years ago. Okay, so there have been more attacks since then. Seems like you really need much better security if this is something that frequently happens in the same building over and over again. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's, um... It seems really weird that the same thing would get so many robbery attempts. A taboo was in there too high of a figure to be looked into, or something else, perhaps. 21 days ago, wow. I don't know, I think I would think twice about visiting a place like this that they got robbed so frequently. Hmm, okay, so there's no actual proof it's Jin. I mean, I guess that could be it, but... 
it seems a bit extreme of a method for certain. Hmm. So yeah, this alarm has never gone off, but I'm guessing it's probably been here for a while because it seems like it's more than just a robbery. The, um, Yeah, it's weird. Maybe the alarm was triggered through some other way, like rem remotely. I'm assuming there's other ways to trigger the alarm, like going through the electrical systems and all that. Oh yeah? All right, what's this? Okay. Attack during, okay, this was in broad daylight. Oh yeah? Huh. So the Sekimea exhibition was a what was a trap to lure out um oh, Jin. I see. That explains some things. So they would try to capture them in the act, and that would explain the lockdown to capture criminals for good this time. I see, okay, that makes sense. Okay, that explains the huge advertisements, too. So this gem itself may not be all that valuable, for all we know. It could just be something pretty simple that they just brought here to make Jin think there was something valuably stolen. That way, if it was actually stolen, it wouldn't be that big a deal. Although, of course, that, doesn't, that does leave the question why it needs to be constantly cold. Yeah, mysterious indeed. So there's only one key of the cabinet. Okay, but the cabinet wasn't broken, so I couldn't have done that. So only only Naomi is the only one who has the key for it. Unless, of course, um, Naomi put in the incorrect key and that triggered it somehow. But, but that. But the smoke went off, and not the alarm, which is because, which is weird, because the alarm went off 20 seconds after the um, smoke started flooding in, which meant that if it really is for forcing open the Sekimea, as someone said, then it would have been after the smoke happened, everyone fell to the ground. But anyway, yeah, it makes sense to keep the law people in. I mean, the culprit could have gone out some way if that did that. Yeah? Hmm, okay, so they can disable the elevator. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, I doubt we're gonna get less lower the time. Hmm. Right? And yet we were able to open it. Um, yeah, I guess just Naomi's key kept it unlocked, as it said. That seems like it's the only real explanation for why they could do that. Okay, so Kate's job is to keep an eye on the cameras constantly. I see, that makes sense. Okay, that makes that all works. Yeah, hmm. Okay, so they can't even access the system for some reason. Hmm. Right. Makes sense. Hmm. 
Mm. Right. Nope. I mean, they could physically open the shutters, probably, but... It'd be a waste, I guess. Hmm. Oh, okay, so they can't open- physically open them without breaking down the whole building, supposedly. Hmm. Okay, so you did try to call out to us. Right. Okay, so they weren't expecting attack in the night, in the morning, since all their attacks were at night beforehand. Makes sense. Okay, that explains why the other people are outside. Yeah, no, it's gotta be something more complicated than this. Yeah. Right. Indeed. Okay, so this must be the incident in Shiroya and Asuki's past they must be talking about. The smoke. This must be what caused laser trauma. Alright. Okay. Oh. Screen went black. Did the camera get destroyed? Someone turn it off in here physically? Hmm. Weird that one would go down. Weird. Why would the left monitor go down? Hmm. Oh, now all of them got went black. Why the hmm. All the cameras. Yeah. So all the cameras are disconnected. All at the same time, it can't be a coincidence. Alright, so... It's not a physical issue, it seems. Hmm. Or it could be someone in this room doing something. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna stop the stream right here. I feel like it's, uh, it's, this was a few minutes past where I was going, so it should be good enough. So, um, yeah, the mystery seems in seems interesting. A lot of stuff to think about. But, um, I guess the question is, um, are you guys interested enough in seeing me continue um, streaming this or? No, nah, because, um, if not, um, I'll probably just continue to play this on my own. Um, but if people are interested in seeing me continue this, I'll, um, stream it. Otherwise, this will just be a one-time thing. I, um, I'm, I'm personally very busy, too, these days, so 
I don't know how consistently I'd be able to do in the, in the near future. So it wouldn't be a consistent series for the time being. It would have to it would probably be later that it would be a consistent series, but that one would probably be at least a few more weeks or months. Okay. So there's interest there. Yeah, that's a fair thing. Yeah. I'll probably, if I do contain this, I'll be using the no function much more during the actual streams. I probably might probably going to play through this one the scenes I saw one more time and write more notes next time around but of course I'll be off screen but okay I guess it seems like it's an interest in me continuing playing it so I'll definitely link that process back in the near future but again it won't be for might not be for a while because of my personal busy schedule but yeah that's all for now and until next time I'll see you all later